So I grabbed the knife and I ran outside and I cut a leaf. By the way, you know how they say don't run while holding a knife? I broke that rule. Well, while holding scissors, I guess, but I broke that rule. All right, aloe vera for burns. Oh, I burned myself. So just to give you an idea how much I burned myself, I'll show you too. So I was cooking this dry tip right on this burner in this pan that was full of hot oil. And I was flipping the dry tip with the tongs. And just to give you an idea how much it splashed because the dry tip slipped out of the tongs. Yeah, I, can't, I don't know if you can see it, but all this oil splashed over my hand and I screamed like a girl. But I ran outside and I got aloe, so it spilled over my this index finger, the middle finger. Okay, <laughs> I don't want this video demonetized, but the index finger, the finger next to it, and all the way up to here, you can see where I've rubbed the aloe. So I just want to show you how well aloe works because I burn myself all the time. I'm so clumsy. It hurts, definitely does. Not as much as it did when it first flashed over my hand. Basically, I just slice the aloe sideways and I rub it on my hand and I keep slicing when it kind of dries out. I slice again with the knife and I just rub it over my hand. Yeah, how Sasha, how typical. This is what I basically do. I cut it and I rub everywhere where it hurts because I can't really tell my entire hand got red. So I'm just rubbing everywhere. Now it hurts over here too. Maybe I didn't feel the, the pain before, but that was the, the worst right here over the index finger and over here. So I'll just keep doing this for a few more minutes. Aloe for burns, that works like magic. You're just gonna have to believe me. All right, now that uh, it's a few minutes later and I can think more coherently. It doesn't hurt as bad, <laughs> but now there is no pain at all, about five minutes later. And uh, here I peeled even more of the skin of the aloe, so I exposed a larger area and I just keep rubbing. So in case you wonder how it happened, this is exactly how it happened. The dry tip was here in the pen, I was holding the pen so it doesn't spin around since the, the surface of the stove is very greasy. Uh, so I was holding the pen and then I grabbed the dry tip in attempt to flip it. So the dry tip was like halfway up and it slipped out of the tongue and it flopped right back here with the fat side. I don't think I even attempted to remove my hand from here. So this is how it happened. And uh, a little warning and disclaimer here. You're not supposed to use aloe right after you cut it because it has this yellow substance that it's kind of dangerous, I guess. You can look it up on the internet. But I broke that rule too because it was an emergency. So this is my hand half an hour later, the burned one. This is the other one. Actually, the burned one now looks better than the other one. So here is my hand 24 hours, not even 24 hours later, less than 24. Ta-da! Nothing. So if you burn your hand, I would suggest go to ER. You don't have to, but I don't want to be responsible for anybody's burn wounds. But that was pretty severe last night and not only that, but I ran my hand because I panicked. It hurt so bad. I ran my hand under water just for a few seconds until I realized what a stupid thing I'm doing. But it's all gone. Completely gone. So last night I had a little tenderness right over here, some over here, but uh, today it's all good. It doesn't hurt at all. If you don't grow aloe, I would strongly suggest get one, especially if you tend to burn yourself like me. So now it's the next day, I'm all better. And this is my lovely aloe that uh, basically saved me many, many, many times. 